Hey guys, good morning. This is a video tutorial to deployment of ASP.NET Core MVC application on Plus. So here we have introduction of application. This is an application developed in Visual Studio uh, and connected with MS SQL Server. So here is the front end of application. When you search the user with the ID, it will uh, pop up the username. You can change the username. You save it, and once you search it again, it we will say see the uh, updated name or there when you search the ID which is not present in the databases it will give a message so uh, here we have our uh, database simple database in this uh, we have two records uh, in that table so uh, let's jump to the plus login to the plus uh, uh, plus uh, with your credentials in my case my uh, username is normal and I just log in and it will open up the uh, welcome page of uh, the Plask so in the website and uh, domains we have our domain we can like uh, check it once we click on that particular domain it will open up uh, for now it will give in 434 error because there is nothing in that domain so what we need to do we need to add uh, the files over there uh, for this we need to uh, publish the project first we need to stop it uh, the running application on the local uh, first we need to stop it and we need to go to the uh, uh, publish it and once we click on this it will like uh, pop up this uh, screen and we can simply uh, click on publish here is our location you can change the location where uh, the publish file will go uh, so and when we click on this uh, it will like uh, generate a few files create a few files or they right now there is nothing because it is in progress so once it's completed it will like uh, the file will pop over there now look here we have files we can select all files and make a, a, a zip file of this so we just create a zip of this uh, publish file publish project so you uh, now go to the plus website and domains here we need to go to uh, um, uh, files uh, you can go to the files over there after this and uh, just click on the files <coughs> just click on the files plus uh, press plus button over there and select that particular uh, zip file which we just created of uh, publish uh, uh, project so here you can upload it's uploading uh, the file it will take a couple of seconds uh, once it's done we need to now now we select the file and extract the uh, zip file and extract the zip file over there uh, you can like do like this after extracting this it will take few seconds and uh, now delete that particular uh, zip file uh, now we don't need it anymore so uh, our uh, application is almost uh, ready now once we need to uh, like uh, front end application is good now we need to add the databases for databases what we need to do go to the website and domains over there you need to go to the databases uh, or you can directly go to the databases for uh, like uploading the database we need to take a backup of database for taking backup we need to click right click on the database and uh, hit backup uh, you can set the path over there I just set it uh, D and you can click OK it will generate a backup uh, now click on the add database you need to update the uh, details over there database name and you can provide database name simply in my case I provided database demo DB select will uh, Microsoft will studio uh, sorry SQL server and uh, username I provided my username normal RF in my case and you can generate a password you can sh see the password and you can save it uh, so later we can use it so I just keep it in my file and hit ok uh, once we hit ok it will take few seconds and now we are 
our database is ready and it will uh, now uh, there is no data uh, like uh, tables uh, now we what we need to do we need to import that particular uh, backup file which uh, we have uh, created uh, so in our case our uh, backup is demo db dot bak and we click ok and upload it so uh, it will take few seconds side by side we can check one thing uh, we can log into the side which is uh, oh sorry database which is on uh, plask on the local server so here is my uh, ip uh, domain ip so i can provide uh, copy the domain ip and go to the view studio in the server name i will provide my uh, domain ip and in the uh, login i will provide my uh, name which is norman and uh, the database is password which we uh, save uh, which we generated and later we save it so we can provide that uh, user uh, password username and password once we click ok it will uh, key, key, uh, takes few seconds and it will like we can op um, see the uh, databases over there so uh, this is database from the plask this is uh, from that particular uh, tables are showing from the plask uh, so uh, it will taking time no you can see the user uh, tables over there so we can simply check the uh, records of uh, the databases as well uh, we selected uh, top records and here we have we have two records in that table so it will pop up these thing these uh, tables now we are good uh, once we uh, done with this and we can simply click, go to the website and domains click on the application page and it will open up the application so once we are done with this we can go to that particular uh, screen which we are like uh, checking but uh, once we click on search the user id it will give an error because uh, there are few settings we need to change uh, because on the publish file uh, we have different uh, things so what we need to do we need to update the web.config as well app settings the connection string on the uh, web.config we need to remove a line so we can open the uh, web.config file the last line line number uh, 12 we need to remove this line and remove this line as well as in web.config and change the connection string later you can save it and change the connection string okay so i just verify over there everything looks good and now i just go down and uh, app.setting i will change the connection string over there so uh, look here we have local uh, setup of uh, databases and here we have local connection string now we want a connection string which is uh, of plus I just copy paste over there because it was uh, same uh, as per my last project so I just uh, now I just need to change the that uh, password over there uh, because I kept the uh, uh, DB name as we have and all the details are same but only password is different so I just change the password and hit save once we done with this we can uh, search it or uh, refresh it and we can search the username and it will now uh, we are able to see the username so uh, I just updated the username and once we update it we can see it and uh, this uh, change will be on the uh, databases side so we are good now if you have any question you can uh, let me know bye thank you